Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own baking spray or baking spray because you brush it on. But anyway, I got this recipe from one of my professional baker subscribers, Janelle. It's what she uses in her bakery and I love this stuff and it lasts forever and it's so freaking convenient. So if you're baking around the holidays or just anytime you want to keep this stuff on hand. Okay, here's how I normally prepare my pans for baking whenever I run out of that Baker's Joy stuff. I just do it the old fashioned way. I take my Crisco, I grease the pan all around just like that. And then my hands are covered in Crisco so I have to wash them before I dig into the flour. Then I get the flour, sprinkle it in the pan, and um, hold the pan over the sink and toss it around just trying to get the flour evenly distributed. Which this is the part that I hate about baking so this is why I love this homemade um, baking spray so much because all you do is brush it on and now I'm going to show you how to make it. To make this you will need some vegetable oil, some all purpose flour, and some Crisco. I'm using butter flavored Crisco because that's the only thing I had in the house but you can use plain Crisco as well. So in a bowl you want to add in some all purpose flour. Next we're going to put in some vegetable oil, pour it on in there, and then last we're going to put in our Crisco. Let's dump it right on in, just like that. And that's how it look. looks gross, Ew. but we're going to mix it up and get it nice and fluffy. So on low speed, use your um, mixer and just mix it up, get it combined. It's going to have the consistency of like a batter or frosting. So mix it up until um, it's nice and smooth. And that's pretty much it. It's all you're going to do. It's ready to go just like that. I think it looks quite yum if you ask me. So now you just want to pour it into a container. And I got this glass jar from the Dollar Tree. They have the cutest little glass jars. Oh, I love the Dollar Tree. But yeah, go ahead and pour that into your container. Put the top on it. And honey, you are ready to go. You have just made your own pan release spray. And let me tell you, this stuff lasts forever. You may have to stir it up a little bit the next time you use it if it's been sitting for a while. But yeah, this stuff is the bomb. So to use it, all you do is dip your little brush or you can use your fingers or whatever. Dip it in there and then just spread it onto your pan. Use a generous amount, spread it onto your pan, coat it, and then just pour your batter into your pan and you are ready to bake. No more greasing your pan with the Crisco and then using the flour making a mess. This is a all-in-one non-stick baking pan release spray. Love it. 